Hello friends, it's so good to be with you. But I'm a little bit sad that we can't be together in person. But if we think about it another way, it's good that we're apart because then we can't give the virus to each other. So that's another way of thinking about it or looking at it from a different perspective. That word perspective comes from the Latin perspectus and per means through and Kari means to look. So you're looking through, to look through. And the dictionary says there's several meanings for perspective, but the one we're talking about means to have a different attitude about or to look at something differently or to have another viewpoint. It can mean it's one way you see things as a result of what you are and what you know. So perspective is a big word that I've been trying to use a lot when I look at things. But first, what are, do I have on that helps me see better? You're right, glasses. I got glasses in the ninth grade. And I was so surprised that you could see the individual leaves on the tree. Before I had glasses, it was just a tree trunk with green blob at the top. So I was happy to get glasses so I could see better. But they don't help me think about things in a different way or a different viewpoint. So I can pretend did you know another word for glasses is spectacles? And that uses the same Latin root in that word. So I'm going to have some pretend perspectacles. And they will help me see things in a different way. So why am I thinking about seeing things in a different way? Because I read a book that talked about seeing things in a different perspective. Now I have a picture here, and I want you to look and tell me what you see. You see balloons? I don't see a balloon. Why don't you try that again? You still see balloons. I see a heart. How can you see balloons? Try it one more time. You still see balloons? I see a heart. Maybe I should put back on the perspectacles so we can see this. We're looking at the same piece of paper, but you're seeing balloons and I'm seeing a heart. We're seeing two different views. How can that be on the same piece of paper? <gasps> Look, there's, I see balloons now and you see the heart. We saw two different views on the same piece of paper. And that's an illustration of how you see a different perspective of something that's happening. And one reason I like to try to see different perspectives is I read a book that was about conversations between Archbishop Desmond Tutu and the Dalai Lama. And they're two famous men in religion, although the Dalai Lama is for Buddhist religion and Archbishop Tutu is for Christianity. But they're good friends and they were talking in this book about how to be happy, how to have joy. And one of the things that annoyed the Archbishop and frustrated him was when he would be driving and another car would come speeding up and cut him off. And that used to make him angry and frustrated but he decided to think about it in a different way, a different perspective. He wondered, maybe that driver is rushing. He's driving so fast because he's rushing to the hospital. Maybe his wife's having a baby. Maybe somebody's very sick. The archbishop didn't know exactly why the driver was speeding, but when he thought about it in a different way, it didn't upset him and it made the archbishop feel better. So that was using a different perspective. And another way, because it says your experiences and what you learn creates how you view things, makes your perspective. 
We've been having some weather in the low 50s. And when I go outside, I'm cold. I grew up in the South and I live in the South. And that was cold to me. But if you grew up in the North, you would not think that 50 degrees was that cold. You're used to having temperatures much lower. So our experiences made us have different perspectives, different viewpoints of how cold it felt. In the Bible, Jesus, we know, had different perspective of people than lots of other people. Jesus called Matthew, to, who was a tax collector, to be one of his disciples. And Jesus went home to eat supper with Zacchaeus. The other people around Jesus were not real happy with that because they did not have, like the tax collectors, they had a different view, a different perspective of the tax collectors. And Jesus went and sat and talked with the woman at the well. There was no one else at the well because no one in her village would come to the well when she did. They thought she was a bad person and they didn't want to be around her. But Jesus had a different perspective. And we know from stories in the Bible that Jesus did lots of healing. He made people walk again or see again or heal their sores. And one day, Jesus healed somebody on the Sabbath. And the Pharisees and the high priest in the church had a different perspective on that. They were not happy because in the Jewish religion, you were not supposed to work on Sunday. But Jesus had a, bit, a different perspective. He knew that these people were all God's children, and he wanted to help them. So that's something we need to remember, because Jesus, when he was asked what the first commandment was, said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, spirit, and strength. And the second greatest commandment was to love your neighbor as yourself. And that's what Jesus was doing when he helped people in the Bible that other people didn't think were worthy of being helped. And so that's what we can think about when we see people who need help that might be different from us, but they're still our neighbor and we need to love them just like we love ourselves. So we can put on our perspectacles and think, how can that person think differently from us what can we have, what can we do to change our perspective of that person and want to help them so that is what the second greatest commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself so let's i'm going to say a prayer so fold your hands and bow your head and close your eyes thank you god for loving me and help me to love our neighbors as ourselves and help us to remember that everybody has a different viewpoint. And thank you for loving us. Amen.